It was just another normal day for Alice. She sat at her desk, working on her computer. However, she gets an email. Attached is a video file. It's her voice being replayed, saying things she's never said before. Things that would make her lose her job, her social circle, and her influence. The email demands money. Alice caves and sends what the blackmailer wants. A little dramatic? Maybe, but this could be a very real situation that could already be happening, or will happen in the near future. So how does an AI program steal your voice? AI can simulate real people's voices using audio samples by training machine learning algorithms on large amounts of audio data recorded from that person. This involves analyzing the unique characteristics of the person's voice, such as their pitch, tone, and cadence, and using that information to generate new audio that sounds like it was spoken by that person. To create a realistic simulation of someone's voice, the AI system needs access to high-quality audio samples of that person speaking. The clearer and more distinct the audio, the better the AI will be able to analyze and reproduce the person's voice accurately. Clear audio helps to capture the nuances of the person's voice, such as their unique accent or vocal inflections, which are important for creating a realistic simulation. This ties into the issue of visual deepfakes, which is something deserving of its own video, which we will discuss later. You may be wondering how you can protect yourself. Without clear audio samples, the AI system may struggle to accurately capture the person's voice, resulting in a simulation that sounds artificial or robotic. This is because unclear audio can contain background noise or distortion, which can make it difficult for the AI to isolate the person's voice and learn from it. Therefore, high-quality audio data is crucial to creating realistic voice simulations using AI. All an attacker could need is a minute of clear audio to get something similar to your voice. If you're a YouTuber or streamer, make sure to add background music to videos or streams. If you are someone of high standing in a company or business without a public presence, refrain from social media posting, which may contain your voice. If you are just the average guy and want to keep your voice safe, refrain from posting your voice altogether, which includes sending chat messages. Synthetic voices aren't all bad. Some could be used to help people make a custom voice if they are unable to talk. It could bring back the voice of a loved one. And in some cases, well, they are just plain funny. Well, look, all I'm saying is that we are in two separate leagues. You are the, the globalism fan, and I am the patriotism enjoyer. I'm a patriotic globalist. I support slavery worldwide. A better analogy would be that I'm the rare Pepe, and you're the small crying people. You're Apustaya. You're a small crying Apustaya. I... Am the based and red pilled groiper. That is not true. It is true. No, no, you're not based. You are actually cringe. No, I am based. Based and red pilled. Ring, ring. Hello? Hi, is this the cringe department? Ultimately, it is up to you whether or not synthetic voices are ethical. Understand that this technology is only going to improve. Be ready to adapt and improvise as a content creator. And most importantly, stay safe.